You're back in Olympia again. The 2017 session began January 9th. What do you see as the most important emerging issue this year? Well, I think, you know, it's pretty well known that we have to, McClary decision that we have to satisfy, and that's going to take up a great deal of our time. First of all, we're looking at billions of dollars to fully fund education, and so, you know, we're going to have to have everything on the table in order to come up with that kind of money. And, of course, we also have the boarding of the mentally ill, which is another several billion dollars, and then we've also got the fish culverts under highways that we're talking another one, two billion dollars. So we've got some huge ticket items on our platter. Governor Inslee has proposed tax increases of more than four billion dollars. What's your reaction? Giving the governor his due, I think he's premature on, uh, on the taxation issue. That doesn't mean that the taxes may not have to be raised because we do have obligations we are under court order to meet and you know so we're going to have to put everything on the table and of course the governor's proposal also will go on the table but i think it is premature to assume that uh, we're going to be running taxes to four to five billion dollars you've got another issue that you're working on here in the legislative session tell us about that well, I introduced a bill that was brought to me by the representatives of the small winery and breweries that we have so many now in the state of Washington, that they would also like to sell distilled spirits, whiskey, vodka, bourbon, whatever you want to call it. And because I believe we now have an excess of 100 small distilleries in the state of Washington, and what this bill would do would be allow the beer and wine shops to distill these spirits that are produced in Washington and are under 60,000 gallon production. So it's, it's just another little economic boost to, a, to an industry that's really begun to blossom in the state of Washington. If people would like to contact you to get more information about your bills, how right. would they go about doing that? Well, one of the easiest things is to call my office, and that's 360-786-7810. And either they can leave a message, they can tell Gail, my L.A., or if I'm in or not in a committee meeting, I would probably speak to them.